so part 3 video of controllability and observability problems today we are going to see the observability part so c is 1 0 0 and d is 0 so what is uh, q of not so it is c transpose a transpose c transpose a transpose square c transpose modulus should not be equal to 0 this is a condition for observability so let us check what is c transpose 1 0 0 and what is a transpose c transpose a transpose is 0 0 minus 1 1 0 minus 2 and 0 1 minus 4 C transpose is 1, 0, 0. So while calculating and multiplying these two, we are getting the value as 0, 1 and 0. What is A transpose square? A transpose into A transpose. While we are calculating the A transpose square, we get the value as 0, minus 1, 4, 0, minus 2, 7, 1, minus 4 and 14. So A transpose square, C transpose is, when we multiply these two, we are getting the value of 0, 0, 1. So Q0 is 100, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 1. While we taking the modulus of Q0, we are getting the values of 1. So Q0, modulus of Q0 is not equal to 0. So the system is completely observable. And regarding the rank, so these three are completely independent rows and columns. So we have the rank is 3. So this is the end of the com So this is the end of the controllability and observability problem. Thank you.